Pat, go ahead. So this is my pride and joy. This is my captive born baby. It was actually Joe Sitowski's personal animal that he had kind of did a little bit of the groundwork for me last year. And I got her as a baby as well. And, uh, Kilo, how are you? How are you doing? This is another croc monitor. Yeah. And so she's a year old. It's okay. And, and you uh, obviously are super comfortable with this animal? Super comfortable. I talk to her every day. I hold her every day. Now, if you see this frilled dragon over here, not as comfortable with the crocodile monitor. <laughs> <laughs> um, she Look at that, dude. Yeah. How about that for a threat display? Yeah, not so comfortable. <laughs> she She'd might... have you for lunch, dude. Yep. But, uh, yeah, Kilo has just been the most amazing experience. Her claws can leave some to be desired, but uh, she's just a very deliberate, slow-moving animal. Sorry, I want to get the... These guys are super intelligent, and maybe you can explain why, you know, for those that are watching this, a little bit about croc monitors just in general. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're considered, you know, one of the most intelligent of all reptiles. Very little is known about them, other than we do just see how intelligent they are, that ability to tell the difference between um, who's feeding them and mm -hmm. what's food. Um, very, very sharp paws. <laughs> And sharp teeth. Yeah, I can tell you from personal experience, when I started working with Kilo, she was very hesitant with me. And uh, over the months of working with her, definitely have uh, formed a much stronger bond with her. But then whenever I see Forrest interact with her, it, it's a, it makes a big difference, just that he raised her. Um, yeah. Yeah, even though I'm caring for her on a daily basis, you know, she still has that connection with him just because of the history that they have together. Yeah. I compare it to like a dog, you know, it's just incredible. Yeah, you put it back in there. And we'll show you guys some of the light setups we have in here. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> this is called a light meter. And you guys want to get UVI and UVB meters from Solar Meter. Mm -hmm. uh, they sell them at Reptile Basics. And so she's got multiple lighting options in here. She's got just some basic basking in here. But we just invested in this new Arcadia uh, for this fixture right here. This looks like this one is a 22 inch. And uh, it's got a special kind of screen going through it 